Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, today is Friday, February 2nd, I believe. Uh, we're getting a, a pretty good dump of snow. We've had uh, heavy snowfall warnings issued here, and uh, uh, it's about two hours, uh, two hours north northwest of here. We've got some pretty good snow. They're expected to get a foot today. Uh, so, so yeah, we're going to get the tail end of it, I think, here. We're, we've got quite a bit of snow now. Yeah, as you can see, the, there's snow all over the place now. And uh, it's cold. It's been hovering around a minus 22, 24, 25 Celsius mark. Steady, so. But I'm here at the, the old Ford manure truck here. I got some, uh, some bedding pack that I wanted to get out. But... I plugged this truck in and uh, I found out that the circulating heater wasn't working so I went and bought a new one and I put it on but I've been having a really hard time getting it to work uh, the old one which was mounted up here uh, and it was kind of mounted at an angle I, it, 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 well obviously it didn't work but when I put the new one on like that it didn't work at all it would just heat up canister and then get the wa the water warm tube out there and then shut off so I figured I got an air leak but uh, what I did to ch the directions say that you want to have it the lowest point on the block and then no more than a f you want about a foot rise before the hose tapers off I think it'd be better this is going from the block drain to uh, the top of the head right there where there's a, a spigot there anyway uh not as big as a valve. Uh, I think these would be better off to go through your heater lines, tap into your heater lines with a Y. But uh, I don't know when I when I what I did was I this one had a a 45 degree angle here and it was facing upwards and it would kink the 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 short hose. So what I did was I turned it down so it faced downward and lowered the heater down and then I got. Uh, I got it to work better but I, I'm pretty sure I had an airlock because I was squeezing the hose like that and uh, I got the, the I got it to run for oh, a couple hours and uh, when I come back uh, I unplugged it and then I plugged it in at 3 a.m. this morning and then when I came back here it wasn't going again so seems like I got another air air leak in it or an airlock in it I know this uh, truck is, this cat motor is leaking antifreeze by the pump, a uh, small drip. So anyway, I'm going to leave this on here now, it's, you can hear it go. So it is circulating right now, I can tell it's circulating because it doesn't shut off. So I'm going to leave it for a while yet, and I've got my pipe under there for my Tiger torch and I can heat it up with the torch. I just want to get it running and move it closer to the shop over there. Uh, it's supposed to warm up next week, but I really want to get that manure away from the cash heads. Uh, it's frozen enough as it is. I got about, uh, it's, it's froze. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to leave that there. I'll show everybody what I'm going to use to get the, the frost, to dig through the frost. Well, the D8 is back. I got it back day before yesterday. Maybe three days ago, I can't remember. Anyway, I called the truck and they brought it back because we were done using it. And I went and pushed up some uh, snow and manure from the, where the truck was dumping. So I can use that ripper in the back and I'll rip up any frost. So anyway, it's getting cold. I got my hole plugged in right there. I wish I had a uh, a uh, 50 by 80 shop to put both of them in there but for the last uh, couple days we've been having some calves so we'll just uh, they're all in the barn here all the cows are out right now just, oh, have a look everybody's sleeping it's gonna be dark in here oh hey We got two calves here. These that's the oldest one. Actually no, that's the oldest one on the other side. Then it was this one. Then it was that one. 
And then it was that guy right there. And that's the one I got at 3 a.m. last night. Picked him up. So you can't really wait too long because these guys freeze up pretty quick in this weather. So I'm going to be on the ball every two hours checking them. And uh, usually these guys are balling, but they must have had a lot of... They must have had a lot to eat because they're quiet now and sleeping. I was in here earlier and that guy couldn't leave it, couldn't uh, keep his eyes open. I believe, let's see, I believe that one's a heifer. There's only one heifer in here and the rest are bulls. So I'm pretty sure Sean said that that black one was a heifer. I know these are bulls right here and that one's a bull and this guy's a bull too. Pretty big calves. Yeah, this was the first one. So. You can see there, coming from our Simento bull. So. Oh yeah, and if uh, I remember now, if Blaine is watching, uh, that Simento bull that we got were from Willow Creek Farm, just by the bolt. Reminded myself when, uh, probably about 20 minutes later. Anyway, so that's uh. Our four calves, these were uh, the calves we had just just in a span of uh, two nights, actually. These guys were all born yesterday. And uh, that guy there was born last night at 3 a.m. So it seems they seem to be night calves, mainly. And one in the morning, one was at 9 a.m. So. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. We got our uh, big stove, uh, big shop heater. That was for Anderson Farms. Anderson Cattle Company. Uh, I was telling them about that one time. What we use. This was a big, big hanging shop heater, and uh, we just uh, uh, we run it off propane right now, and it, it warms this place up. In oh, this place can be up to 20 degrees room temperature, which yeah, it's 72, in about five minutes, and we just put the when the calves are cold, we just put them in front there and uh, it warms them up just like a big huge blow dryer. So it warms their hair off and everything. They're, they're, they're really good. And it comes in handy. But uh, it's always when we build something. When we're building, like we built this barn not too long ago and it's already too small. Every time we build something, we build it not big enough. So what we want to do is probably expand it in the back where that fence is there. And so we can have the head gate and uh, nursing cage in there, whatever. Uh, yeah, because it just sucks to work on cows outside. We, we do it inside, but there's not enough room. So you have your head gate here and everything. Uh, and then we would just, if we had to pull a cow, we'd just take them straight inside. But yeah, we need about, uh, we got six stalls in there, but we could use uh, another four stalls plus a room for this. So. Even with the shop, the shop uh, could be, uh, the shop is 30 by, I think it's like 48 or something like that. Our shop could easily be uh, 50 by 80. So, and a machine shed on top of that. So, anyway. My hands are getting cold, so I can't film no more. And uh, hopefully I can get that truck started, but I don't know. Might be a lost cause in this cold weather. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. doing Sean <laughs>
Green bolt. <laughs> well, that's a heifer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the only heifer. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.